this contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 189 pounds, Pineapple Pete. Pineapple Pete, Sugar Dunkerton, whatever you want to call him. I call him annoying. <laughs> okay, all right, that's uh, that's test for you. Pineapple Pete being action coming up here next, but he's going to have his hands full with the refocused, reinvigorated Sean Spears. And his opponent to be accompanied to the ring by legendary four horseman yeah, yeah. member Tully Blanchard from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Weighing 242 pounds, Sean Spears. Well, Sean Spears, since he got that tough talk from Tully Blanchard and he was given that black glove, that has seemed to give him a laser-like focus. I completely agree. I mean, uh, everything you just laid out there regarding the glove, regarding Tully Blanchard, really getting in the face of Sean Spears to motivate him, a complete injection of energy, aggressiveness, and pure toughness coming out of Sean Spears since that moment. So it's gonna be a tough draw right here for Pineapple Pete, in my opinion. And Taz, you, you know something about motivating, about speaking to competitors like Sean Spears, or in your case, Brian Cage. It takes sometimes a different approach to reach them and garner the best results. Absolutely, that's what great coaching is, and that's what Tully Blanchard is. He understands how to coach somebody up, talk to somebody, uh, get them motivated. You gotta know what buttons to push. And I do think that's starting to really click with Spears. I believe Pineapple Pete is wearing his knee pads on his shin. Yeah, it's, uh, tell you what, uh, look, I, I, I take some shots here and there, Pineapple Pete, Pineapple Pete but he does have a, a lot of energy, a lot of exuberance for sure. He, he likes to have a good time, but you're in a fight right now. You're in there with a guy with, like Sean Spears who is trying to prove something to himself, prove something to Tully, you know, how legit he really is. So Pineapple Pete, like I said, I think he's in trouble. Look at that nice running shoulder block. A lot of exuberance, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of experience too for Pineapple Pete, but Sean Spears currently with the upper hand. Knocking Pineapple Pete down to the canvas. Sean Spears, Pineapple Pete. What is that? What is that person? I've never seen this guy in my life. That is the one and only Pineapple Pete fan. Where'd we get that guy? Perhaps he's related to Pineapple Pete. Okay. Well, right now you see a nice go behind waist lock by Spears and breaking the grip is, uh, oh, look at Pineapple Pete. Well done right there into a side headlock. Yeah, good, good hand fighting there by that Pete. Was well done. But Sean Spears reverses side headlock of his own. Pete tried to, to pull his head out, but Spears yeah. really got a tight grip there. You gotta be careful when you waist lock your opponent while he has a headlock on. It's a good way to get thrown. You know, you get you get a, you get definitely a high, hard headlock throw. And oh, look at that oh. cross body block. Cross body Spears immediately kicking out, not even a one count. Fine nice. Out. Roll Spears up, and Spears again kicking out, this time in a one. If he does that two more times, he might have a three count. Pineapple Pete, he plays a lot of head games. He's talented. Oh, little oh, schoolboy trick. Rolls through the jackknife one. Again, Spears rolling to the outside. He's frustrated. Smart. Take your time. Tully's telling him, chill out. Let's talk for a second. Regroup. You got to regroup. That's it. No problem. Pineapple Pete, like you said, it's not his first rodeo. Unorthodox competitor. You don't want to lose your cool if you're Spears, and Tully knows that. And Spears has been on a roll. We saw him look impressive in his victory last week on AEW Dark. And now, oh, man, look at Pete. I mean, Spears went right at him with that lockup. <laughs> aggressive in the corner, and Spears, oh, the knee to the midsection buckles Pineapple Pete. Pete slams face first into that turnbuckle and a chop across the chest. Look after the, after the body shots and chops, how close Spears keeps his body to Pete. That's important, he hovers over him. He's got a size advantage, and he's just come with those, those left yeah, body not, shots. Not allowing any distance. And there's nothing in the glove, uh, Miss Aubrey. Aubrey Please. Edwards, yeah, checking checking the glove. Spears, the southpaw, firing in those left hands to the to the ribs in the midsection, maybe even a liver shot there on Pineapple Pete. I don't even know why our referee Aubrey uh, Edwards would even imply there's something in that glove, like, like Tully and Sean would do something heinous. 
like there's a foreign object in there or something. Come on, what is this, 1980? Oh, Pineapple Pito fighting up from his knees. Oh, oh that would have hurt. If, <laughs> yeah, Spears connected with that. Yeah, the left he was going to come up, but Pete's bringing the fight. Quick hands. Yeah, big palm strike catching Spears on the jaw. Pineapple Pete, window of opportunity here. Uh-oh. Charging at Spears, but Spears using his strength and spine buster on Pineapple Pete. That might be done. One, it two, no. You saw Spears actually lift his left hand up off the canvas. He was counting along. That was uh, perhaps what allowed Pineapple Pete to generate the momentum to kick out. Yeah, Spears might have got a tad cocky on that cover to your point, Excalibur, I agree. Seems to have control. Well, you know, Pete keeps turning around. He's, he's locking the headlock, but that left leg and foot, well, now he's on the move, but it was, you know, it's oh. a good way to get swept. But now look at look at Spears, the power. Clubbing cross face into the blue thunderbomb. One, two, no. Again, Spears didn't put the feet over the shoulders of Pineapple Pete. But Pete's got a lot of heart. Pineapple Pete's got a lot of heart for sure. Right now, Spears, I, I professionally think, in my professional opinion, he should get on Pineapple Pete right now, but... Oh, look at... Oh. The, I mentioned something about a foreign object before. <laughs> so, Tully Blanchard distracting referee Aubrey Edwards after leaving what looks to be a, a, a steel slug. It could be a piece of Kevlar. But, oh! A big left hand from Spears! One! Two, three. Yeah, I will not allow uh, winner of this match. Sean Spears. Well, well, whatever metal that was, that was heavy duty enough to drop the man, you know? Yeah, we saw it, but referee Aubrey Edwards didn't. Sean Spears loaded up that left glove, and he put the lights out on Pineapple Pete. You saw how... <laughs> Whatever it was, uh, was given back from Spears to Tully. But you see right here, loads it up, loads up that glove to make his hand, I would assume, uh, much heavier. His yes. left hand, that's what it is. And boom, what a shot. It's just like holding on to a, a roll of quarters and right. punching somebody in the face. Sean Spears absolutely decks Pineapple Pete and is victorious here tonight.